Triple saut, messieurs, triple jump man. Deuxième essai, c'est dans la fin, Jonathan Edwards, Grand Bretagne et Romy Lord. That first round, record-breaking jump of Jonathan Edwards, 17 meters 90, one of the longest of all time, unfortunately just over the allowable wind limit. But Edwards now superbly confident. <laughs> Tremendous speed once again, and he's, oh my goodness, that is huge. That has got to be over 18 meters. Now only two jumpers in the history of the event have ever been over 18. Once again, the wind speed limit, 2.4. But John Edwards, a smile from a man who is totally dominating this event today. Only Willie Banks and Mike Connolly have ever jumped further. So the new training, the new strength training he's getting from Norman Anderson up at Newcastle has produced something rather special. Now then. We could be something, seeing something here which is in the, well really he's made history I think by that jump. It's massive, it's 18 meters 43, that is over 60 feet. Oh, Jonathan Edwards has produced a remarkable jump, whether the wind speed reading is illegal or not, it's the longest jump ever seen in the history of track and field athletics. Stuart. Have you ever seen the light in a triple jump competition? Well, he had such marvellous speed, didn't he? And he had such marvellous control in his first round jump. So promised so much. But he looked so sharp in warm-up. And uh, all around us, people were saying, this man looks as though he can jump 18 metres. On the runway, well, he's upright, he's perfect, he's well-balanced, he hits the board beautifully. Look at this, precision in every sense. There, first phase, upright, total control. Second phase, total control, and way, way beyond 18 meters, and that is a superb performance. I've just been informed by Brendan Foster, that's a new Gateshead Harriers record, and it's 60 feet, five and a half inches.